In this video, we're going to solve a couple of these nonlinear inequalities, the first of which being 2x squared minus 5x is less than 7. Um, so these, okay, so right away when I see something like a squared, okay, a squared and an inequality, that should be, that's an alert. That's an alert that we have to go through this method, uh, which, is, which is pretty involved. Let's bring up the steps that we need to follow here. Okay, there they are. It's like we have a whole textbook right at our fingertips here. Okay, so step one, make sure zero is on one side of the inequality. Well, okay, let's do that. So we need to subtract a seven from both sides. That gives us two x squared minus five x minus seven less than zero. Okay, so there's step one, check. If it's a rational equation, well, it's not a rational equation, so we don't have to worry about that. Rational equation would have a fraction uh, with x's in the denominator, essentially. Solve the related equation. Okay, so what that means is we're solving 2x squared minus 5x minus 7 equals 0. This can be solved by factoring, thank goodness. If it couldn't be solved by factoring, we'd have to break out the quadratic formula. But this one we can factor 2x and x. How about minus 7 and plus 1? Okay, I'm using what's known as the trial and error method there, so I'm mentally foiling that back together to make sure I get negative 5 in the middle. Okay, so this gives us x equals negative 1 and uh, 7 halves. 7 halves. Okay, so what that does, so there's step 3, that divides up our number line into regions here. So we draw a number line and I like to put zero in just as a reference. That's not something we're checking. And then negative one is about here. So there's a, a region kind of borderline there. And then seven halves is 3.5. So seven halves is about here. Seven halves, which is 3.5, just so we know where we stand. Okay, so there's that. Now, uh, okay, so doo -doo -doo, step four is done. Step five, test a point in each region, right? And this is the steps you need to go through to do these. It's, it's tedious, it's a little bit cumbersome, just do it. Um, these skills are gonna come in really handy in uh, you know, calculus and pre-calculus when you go to graph uh, you know, these crazy functions. So let's see here, so we have x equals, I don't know, I like to pick ones really close to the, you know, as close in as I can, so I'm gonna do negative two. But I could pick anything in this region. I could pick negative one million. It's going to give us the same result. Everything in this region on the left here will have either true or false. Okay, I always pick zero when I can. You could pick anything in this region, but zero is always going to give you the easiest. And then up here, let's do x equals four. This is These are my test points. Okay, so everything in blue is a tester. Test, test, okay. Okay, step five says test a point in each region by plugging into the factor form of the equation. So here we go. Let's do, um, I like to make a little chart here. So test and um, let's do 2x minus 7, x plus 1. And we're going to plug in these points here. We don't have to evaluate this completely out to a number. Instead, we just have to know if it's positive or negative. Okay, so here we're testing x equals negative 2. All right, I'm plugging into this equation. If I plugged in negative 2 here, I'd get something negative, minus 7, so it's a negative. Okay, negative 2 plus 1 is a negative. Negative times a negative is a positive. Okay, moving on, we test x equals 0. Well, 0 minus 7 is a negative. 0 plus 1 is a positive. Is, uh, negative times positive is negative. Get the idea here. X equals 4. All right, plugging it in. 2 times 4 is 8. Minus 7 is 1, so that's positive. 4 plus 1 is also positive. Positive times positive, of course, is positive. There we go. Now, to label the regions here, we go back to the original problem, right? And the, the important thing here is this, this equal, less than 0. So if, if it's less than zero, we're gonna label that true. And if it's greater than or equal to zero, we're gonna label that false. Uh, okay, so less than zero. Well, less than zero is negative, 
right? Less than zero is negative. Greater than or equal to zero is positive in this case. So the negatives get the true and the positives get the false in this case. Okay, so where does that leave us here? That leaves us in this middle region true, left region false, right region false, and the answer is the trues. Now, since this is less than but not equal to, in this original problem here, right, this and this, we're not going to include the endpoints because at the endpoints of this interval, right, so our answer is this, this interval right in here, I'm coloring in, but the endpoints are not included. So we're going to do the soft brackets here to indicate that we're not including those. Um, so then our answer is an, an interval notation. Okay, so we have negative one up to seven halves. There we go. Now, let me just give you a quick different version of this problem. If this problem was um, instead 2x squared minus 5x greater than 7. This would give us a greater than 0 right here. In this new version of the problem, greater than 0 is going to give us a true, and less than or equal to 0 will give us a false. So in the new version of the problem, um, so let's ignore these for now, okay? plus, okay, so greater than zero is plus, less than or equal to zero is minus, so we have true, false, true. So now in the new problem, these outer regions are true, the middle region is false, like so. So our new answer to this problem in red, okay, to the slightly different problem, is actually negative infinity to negative one, Okay, and then we're going to hop over that middle region where it's false. So note that we're only looking at the reds now. Right, true, false. So we're going to hop over that and then we're back to true over here. So we start again, seven halves off to infinity. So there's the answer to the slight variation of the problem. Cool, let's try another one. Okay, for B we have x minus 6 times x minus 4 times x minus 2 is greater than or equal to zero. Let's bring up the steps again. And you, you want to essentially internalize these steps. Um, I know it's a lot to, to essentially memorize, but that's just part of it. Step one, make sure zero is on one side of the equality. Check and check. If it's a rational equation, well, it's not, so don't worry about that. We'll get to those. Um, solve the related equation. Okay, so now we have to do something here. X minus six, here's the related equation. We just replace that inequality with an equal sign. So x minus 6, x minus 4, x minus 2 equals 0, which we can see by setting each one of these factors equal to 0 gives us x equals 6, 4, and 2. Okay, done. Separate the number line into regions. So then we grab our number line here. Some people call this a sign chart. There's a slightly different method of doing this that, that uses pluses and minuses um, right, right in the chart. Um, so let's do this. Uh, so here's zero somewhere way over here. That's not that's not one of our regions though. And then let's do this. Will be one though no, two, four, and six. Okay. So now let's select our test points. I'll just do those in blue here. So I'm going to test x equals zero down here. Always t use zero if you can. Over here, I'm thinking x equals three. But notice we could use any point here. We could use two point one. 3.999, any point you want inside this region. It's usually best to go with whatever's the easiest though. Between four and six, I'm thinking five. And how about seven for this region on the right? Okay, so three zeros, essentially three roots of this equation, give us four regions to check. All right, no problem, we can do that. So here's our test our test point, and here's the equation in factored form, x minus 6, x minus 4, x minus 2. Okay, let's just see if it's positive or negative in these regions. So here I'm testing x equals 0, I'm plugging in 0 minus 6 is negative 6, negative 0 minus 4 is negative 4, negative 0 minus 2, 
negative 2. Negative times negative times negative is indeed negative. All right, x equals 3. 3 minus 6, negative. 3 minus 4, negative. 3 minus 2, positive. Negative times negative times a positive. Now we're looking at positive. All right, you get the idea here. Mm, x equals 5. All right, plugging in, 5 minus 6, still negative. 5 minus 4, positive. 5 minus 2, positive. Negative times positive times positive, negative. So just note that if the number of negatives is, is odd, it's negative. If it's even, it's positive. That's, that's the, the rule here, basically. And finally, we're up to x equals 7. Plugging in gives us x minus 6. Ooh, that's finally positive now. 7 minus 4, positive. 7 minus 2, positive. Positive times positive times positive is, of course, positive. Okay, so we broke up our region, and now we tested the points, but we need to label true or false. So let's see here. So this we want greater than or equal to. So in this case, greater than or equal to is going to be true, which is positive, and negative or less than is going to be false. So going down here, negative, false, positive, true, negative, false, positive, true. All right, so what does that tell us? We have false, true, false, true. The true regions are our answer, so I will shade those on this number line, the true region. So we're doing everything between 2 and 4, and then everything from 6, and it just keeps going forever. Now here where we have an equal sign, this is greater than or equal to, so we are going to include these endpoints of our intervals here. That's what those hard brackets mean. And so finally we write our answer in interval notation. So here's our final answer after all of that. So we did this, and I was careful with the endpoints, so here's the answer. Okay, it's two to four, and then we skip over the stuff in between. We do that with a union, meaning we're bringing these two, we call these disjoint sets together. Then we start again at six, and we go off to infinity. And infinity always gives a soft bracket because we don't include infinity um, in the real numbers.